there. I'm Liz, part of the unofficial Eat Healthy Association. Are you still eating cereal out of the box on the couch? <laughs> if so, it's about time you learn how to cook a nutritious, delicious meal. And it doesn't have to be difficult, but you know, maybe for you. <laughs> Sorry. No one is perfect, but you really need to get up and sort your life out. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome back to Lizzie the Unofficial. My name is Lizzie. I rhyme with fizzy, girl. You know I get it on, I make you dizzy. I got no cash and I got a rash. Positivity is what I want to share. To my energy, haters better beware. The potential in the KO is just not being recognized by the general public. So we're gonna need to make this recipe so that people can understand the power of some delicious kale. I'll tell you right here, this recipe gets you all the micronutrients, you know, what you need. You're gonna be eating vegetables, but you're gonna be eating and you're gonna be enjoying it. Let's get started. What you need to start off. <clears throat> so I'm using two green onions, two red onions, three white onions, Two red bell peppers, one green pepper, one yellow pepper, half an orange pepper, just two green medium spicy chilies because you know my brother he cannot handle heat so we heat. I don't know where it comes from but <laughs> we have to accommodate so I'm making like a lot because this thing gets devoured I'm telling you and we're going to be using this special ingredient three bags of frozen kale so I'm going to like Stop all this talking because I know you're sick of me already. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that fresh kale smell. So just throw your three bags of kale straight into the pot. Pour some boiling hot water on it. Let it defrost. Let it get all sludgy like a nice slush. That's what you want. As you can see, I'm still a menace with a knife. Uh, we're just gonna be chopping up these scallions, these spring onions, whatever you like to call them, whatever floats your forward focus. You're gonna cut up the onions and leave two or three for dicing. But yeah, that one's trying to escape. You're not going anywhere. You are going to get chopped. There's no other way, sweetie. You are going to face your doom. The essential key really to this um, whole recipe here is just to remember, just keep chopping, just keep chopping, just we're chopping, chopping together, chopping as one, chopping for fun, chopping is fun for me and you, chopping is fun, one, two, three, chopping is fun for me. See that aggression when I cut this red pepper? That's what I expect of you. That is the standard that I'm setting, that I'm expecting you to maintain, okay? Thank you. So once you got your seeds thrown and your peppers chopped up, your onions chopped up, throw it up in a food processor, get that nice and finely chopped up. Delish. Yes, that is the sound my food processor makes. Don't ask me. That chunk that's left, he really thought he could get out. No. <laughs> There's no escaping. There's no escaping. You're getting chopped. Oh, and the mess. Come on, say something to the camera. Say something to the people. What you have to say? Mm, you nicely chopped, nicely fresh. Mm, mm, mm. Into that kale, gonna be delicious. Yum. You're gonna take your kale out of hibernation. If it don't look like slush, do not rush. Let it sit for some more. I'm pouring some more hot water in it. And now you're basically just gonna squish out all the water from the kale. It, it takes a bit of time, but you want it to be as dry as possible. Recipe is a good recipe, fam. Because like I'm telling you, my brother, who eats plain raw toast. Wait, that makes sense. He be eating this. If you're Nigerian, yeah, you know this is kind of like a twist on, you know, traditional effort. Okay, so we're officially getting on to the good stuff. For a bit of protein, throw in some prawns, peppers. We got our peppers. We got our diced onions. We got the kale. Dried and delicious. 
let's get to cooking it you want to get a pot preferably a pot that's older than you like this one here it's older definitely older than me you want to get some oil we're gonna just add a little bit because we're trying to be healthy <laughs> i'm just playing add that oil to the flipping pot my guy okay yes make swirl it around mm. add a bit more yep we're making a lot so oh, oh and the mess and the mess <sighs> so throw in your onions saute them up to the nice and golden brown like me don't drop your maggi in the oil okay now you're gonna add in your peppers that's gonna be nice and sizzling up you want to make sure it's nice and sizzly we're basically just gonna be frying these peppers so once the peppers go into the onion and the oil we just have to wait you have to wait like a while after a while it should be bubbling you should keep stirring it as you go to make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom but now we're gonna add in our little seasoning packets a little maggi a little jumbo all that make sure it's nice and sweet the flavors are flavoring you know and I add them in mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well done mm -hmm. don't lick them off your fingers we've been through this before okay mix mix do 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 a mix mix do 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 mix well and make sure you have a bite before you say good night and add some salt So I'm gonna be adding in some prawns for some extra protein. If you want to keep it vegan, vegetarian, and all of the above, leave that out. It's powerful, isn't it? Powerful. So just me being a silly Billy, I forgot to record the part where I put the kale in. But basically, you just want to take your dried kale, crumble it in, as you can see, as I'm doing, and just keep stirring bit by bit. And you should get to where I am right now. Keep mixing, keep mixing. Let's go. Really? Ain't no way. Let's go. It's something different. Really? I, I ain't doing nothing different. <laughs> Bro, I may as well just just joking. The, the beauty of it is you can literally eat it like wrap, rice, anything on the side. I literally make enough so I can pack them in bowls. So how I like to eat mine, I like to eat with rice, delicious. But I like to eat mine with tortilla wraps. So I have a tortilla wrap there. Warm 10 seconds, nice and soft, flexible. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Really delicious. Wrap that up. 